it wasn't a great start yesterday when you think yeah. Lenin got underway, economic data comes out, broad picture of weakness. C clearly, the Chinese economy is sputtering, and they've tried to get uh, it kick-started, and that's why we saw, like, uh, the Golden Dragon Index as a proxy to the economy uh, kind of go up in May. May 17th is down 15 percent since then, because that momentum has kind of petered out. So people are looking at the plenum to see what could possibly come from behind those closed doors uh, as kind of a stimulus. Uh, but again, we're not expecting a big bang. But then again, uh, Xi Jinping is an unconventional leader. Uh, uh, and perhaps, uh, look, this third plenum was delayed by six or seven months uh, because it's usually held within that year after the party congress. They delayed it. There's been some headwinds, obviously, and they need to address that, or do they? We have to see uh, whether it's going to be structural reform uh, and uh, simply kind of... Uh, you know, boosting the coffers and the fiscal structures at the provincial levels, perhaps raising the retirement age. Uh, some of the things that wouldn't get the big headlines, like stimulus for the property sector, rescue package for the property sector, stimulus to help the consumer uh, spend some money. Because again, these geopolitics are behind everything uh, that we are talking about right now. Uh, so if J.D. Vance is m mimicking, if you will, or basically echoing the same kind of, dare I say, not my words, protectionist sentiment and the stance towards China. That is something obviously in Beijing right now. The leadership, as they collect behind closed doors for now the second day of four days to kind of give long-term economic structure and strategy, they have to figure in the Trump equation, obviously, on the export front. Mm, and the export front, of course, it's, it's about solar, EVs, they're trying to develop at least for domestic purposes, their chip sector as well. These are all of the new economy drivers, yes. and it's that question around sustainability that we're also talking about in today's Big Take. That's right. The Big Take is, is, a, is the counter-argument to what we've been seeing with the numbers yesterday. With GDP coming in at 4.7 percent, we were expecting 5 percent. Retail sales was the real number, eye-popping number, mm. to the downside, 2 percent growth. Uh, again, we haven't seen these numbers in quite some time. We were expecting 3.4 percent. So that's telling you the consumer's not there. So what do they do? They go back to that old cocktail, and that is pump out manufacturing across the provinces to boost growth that way, and that was reflected in the factory output. The industrial production numbers was 5.3 percent. We were expecting 5 percent. That should not be a surprise given the emphasis on new quality productive forces. So again, it's the old cocktail, but it's new products. So it's AI. It is, to a certain degree, in manufacturing as well. It's chips. It's EVs. It's solar panels. It's uh, areas of, of strategic importance of national security, and this goes back to the geopolitical question as well. If you need self-reliance because of more protectionist measures possibly coming down the pike in the United States, you throw the money towards that.